So the year is almost finished and I think it's time to revisit one of my old videos about ThinkPad T440P in which I said that this is one of the best ThinkPad workstation laptops to buy in 2019 and answered the question as to whether that's still the case in 2020. Let's get started. In 2017, Intel released a new generation of mobile Intel CPUs called KB Lake R. R stands for Refresh. It was a very important release because it marked the first ever quad-core low-voltage Ultrabook CPUs that Intel released. Up until that point, all Intel Ultrabooks shipped with anemic dual-core CPUs. And of course, the performance difference between Intel's 7th gen and 8th gen CPUs was tremendous. The new quad-core CPUs offered a massive increase in performance while still remaining as low voltage and as power efficient as dual core CPUs from the previous generations. And in January 2018, Lenovo released a new lineup of 14-inch business laptops, ThinkPad T480, T480S and X1 Carbon 6th Gen. Now you might ask, why are you telling me all of this? And the reason is, since Lenovo released a new generation of laptops in 2019, laptops from last generation, especially T480, are getting cheap. like really cheap. If you want to buy a refurbished or used T480 right now, you're looking at about $700. And they're only going to get cheaper next year. For comparison, the basic model of T440P with TN screen, hard drive and 4 gigs of RAM could set you back for about $150 to $200, depending on your luck. But if you want to upgrade it to an actually powerful workstation laptop that can rival modern laptops, you're looking at anywhere between $400 and $600. And at this point, the price difference is not so big. Now I can hear you asking already, come on Wolfgang, why would anyone want to buy those new laptops that Lenovo makes? Those expensive, flimsy and thin parodies on ThinkPads with zero credibility, why would anyone want to go for that instead of the glorious 30, 20 or 40 series ThinkPads? And the reason is actually very simple. T480 is, in every conceivable way, a better laptop than T440P, in my humble opinion, of course. First of all, all ThinkPad circle jerk aside, T480 is still a great ThinkPad machine with surprisingly good upgradability. It has two DDR4 memory slots which support up to 64 gigs of RAM, one slot for 8mm NVMe SSD or SATA SSD, and an LTE modem slot which unofficially supports 42mm NVMe SSDs. Unlike T440P, T480 can also be upgraded to a Quad HD screen. The only thing that is missing from T480 in comparison to T440P is the socketed CPU slot, but that's not something you should worry about. 8250U, which is one of the lower end CPU options for T480, performs similarly to i7 options on T440P, for example, i7-4702MQ or i7-4712MQ, while still being more power efficient and running cooler. The higher end option, i7-8550U, actually performs slightly better than the most powerful CPU unofficially available for T440P, which is i7-4980HQ. I made a video about this CPU a while ago, so go check it out. It's a great processor with a lot of drawbacks. For example, it's really hard to get, it's only available in China, and you have to use a Taobao broker to actually get your hands on it unless you live in China, and it's also extremely hot. It has a TDP of 55 watts, and the cooling system in T440P just can't really handle it. Moreover, liquid metal also doesn't seem to be an option for this CPU on T440P because it has an uneven surface and it's also higher than normal CPUs for T440P and because of that it doesn't really make good contact with the heatsink. 8550U on the other hand has a TDP of about 15 watts, which in Intel's language means about 30 under load. <laughs> Both of those CPUs score about 600 in Cinebench R15 multi-core CPU tests. 8550U performs slightly better, but whereas 4980HQ crawls to the finish line, burning through your battery pack, melting through your laptop, 8550U doesn't seem to have any problem with the test. It reaches about 400 500 megahertz above base clock and finishes it with no problem. And the results should be even better after liquid metal application and slight underrolling. When it comes to idle power consumption, KB Lake R processors are also extremely efficient. It could be about 1 to 3 watts in idle, depending on the model. When it comes to undervolting, KB Lake R CPUs also handle it much better than Haswell. For example, my i7-8650U handles about minus 150 millivolts with no problem, whereas 4702MQ in my old T440P crashed at anything below minus 80 millivolts. 
When it comes to battery life, T480 also has the upper hand. This model boasts a bridge battery system. You basically have a 24 watt hour internal battery and an external hot swappable battery, which could be either 48 watt hour or 72 watt hour. And the battery life on T480 is truly epic. 13 hours of web browsing and simple productivity tasks, according to notebookcheck.com tests. You'd be surprised, but T480 actually has more ports than T440P, well, more useful ports anyway. Both of these laptops have Ethernet, SD card slot, and combo jack, but T480 also has a standard HDMI port instead of the obsolete mini display port, as well as USB Type-C and Thunderbolt 3. T440P does have an extra USB port though. Thunderbolt 3 is a big game changer because it means you can connect an external GPU something you can't do in T440p. You can connect an external GPU on older ThinkPads such as T430 and T420, but the Express Card slot imposes a pretty big bottleneck. Express Card 2 protocol has a bandwidth of 4 gigabit per second, whereas Thunderbolt 3 has a bandwidth of 40 gigabit per second. And just for the record, you need about 16 gigabit per second to achieve 85% of desktop level performance. It's no secret that T440p is actually pretty thick and heavy. It's about 2.2 kilograms or 4.8 pounds with 6 cell battery. And if you go for the 9 cell battery, you're looking at about 2.4 kilograms or 5.2 pounds. T480 on the other hand weighs about 1.9 kilograms or 3.9 pounds and it's also almost a whole centimeter thinner than T440p. If we also add chargers into the equation, both T440P and T480 chargers are pretty bulky, but whereas T440P uses a proprietary slim tip connector, T480 uses a standard USB Type-C connector, which means you can use an aftermarket charger. For example, I have the 60 watt charger, which I use to charge both my phone and my laptop, and it's pretty convenient, and it's definitely less bulky than your standard laptop charger. So let's sum it up. If you want to buy the base model of T440P and upgrade it to a full-fledged workstation laptop, you have to shell out about $600. For this price, you get a fairly old and chunky machine with very modest battery life, even with 9 cell, really. But if you're ready to spend a little bit more money, you can get yourself a modern workstation laptop with a powerful and energy efficient CPU, amazing battery life, Thunderbolt 3 with eGPU support, more upgradeability potential with 64 gigs of RAM, Quad HD screen, and classic keyboard. Yes, you heard that right. Do you still remember the T25, the anniversary edition? The ridiculously expensive parody on classic ThinkPads that Lenovo made in order to cash in on the ThinkPad hype? Well, with enough luck and money, you can actually fit T480 motherboard into the T25 chassis, including the keyboard. A GitHub user Foxy outlined the process, which is, granted, quite involved, but after some hardware modifications, he managed to assemble a T25 slash T480 Frankenpad with Ultra HD display, classic 7 row keyboard, and magnesium lid. Admittedly, it took them a lot of time, money, and effort, but it can be done. I think it's actually ironic how you can't get a classic keyboard on T440p, but you can get it on like a much newer ThinkPad. So, what's the catch? T480 is still more expensive than T440p, even if it's a couple of hundred bucks. So if you're working on a really tight budget and you need a laptop right now, then maybe you should go for T440p. It's also worth mentioning that T440p recently landed an official core boot support, so if that's something you value more than eGPU, better screen, better battery life, then maybe go for that. However, if you will be content with just neutering into management engine, the aforementioned GitHub user Foxy managed to run ME Cleaner on his T480 motherboard and they had no issues whatsoever. Beware that there is also this general sentiment that Lenovo's quality control got worse over the years, which, um, which wasn't the case for me. I personally don't have a T480, but I have an X1 Carbon 6 Gen, which comes from the same generation. It's also a KB Lake refresh based machine from... 2018. The only issue with my model is the noisy fan, which granted doesn't kick in that often, but it's still quite annoying. But this issue can be fixed by undervolting and applying some good thermal paste. But still, some people on the internet have mixed feelings about those newer ThinkPads. They report all sorts of issues like coil wine, paint chipping off, etc. So maybe make sure you can buy from somewhere where you have warranty and return policy. Oh, and by the way, all three of my older ThinkPads, X220, X230, and T440P had coil wind issues, so you're not really safe from that by buying an older machine. <laughs> The last reason why you might want to go for the older machines is that you generally prefer older ThinkPad design with classic keyboard, but in that case, you wouldn't want to go for T440p anyway, because it would be too new for you. So yeah, there's that. So that's gonna be it for this video. I would like to thank my patrons, Ray Piria, Christoph, Neurogamer, Catherine DC, Mitchell Valentino, and everyone else who supports this channel. 
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.